there's this big question mark for a lot of people, and it's been posed on the feeds of social, which is, what is really cheaper, streaming services or cable? Yeah, it's hard because most of us or a lot of us have cut the cord for cable and we're like, oh, we'll just get streaming. But then you have one favorite show on this streaming service and another on this one. And we have a few, a few more than I think we should have. So average cable and this isn't satellite. So average cable is anywhere from basic of around 70 bucks, yep. which is like stripped down nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can have premium of over 200 and most people are around 150 to 170 bucks. Well, you're paying for boxes, month. you're paying for, you know, all these little fees and all this kind of thing. Mhm. And then it goes up. Yeah. It always goes up after a couple of years oh, and you're sure. like, "Oh, come on." You yeah. know? So you're like over 200, 300 bucks at one point. Ooh. I added I cut the cord a long time ago and I added up how much I spend a month. Uh oh. Just me. Okay. I'll tell you what I have. I have HBO Max, Hulu, uh, there's Disney Plus, there's Peacock, there's YouTube TV, Netflix, and Paramount. Okay. That's what I have. All that combined is ninety two bucks a month. Okay. Hulu, HBO Max, and Disney Plus, which I don't even watch anymore, we get for free because of like uh yeah. cellular and all that plan. other stuff. A phone plan, Spotify, all, all right, that well, stuff. Do too. Uh, Peacock, I don't pay anything for because you don't have to and watch ads and yeah. some stuff is locked up. So I pay for YouTube, TV, Netflix, and Paramount. Oh, so that's not bad at that's all. All combined, 92 bucks. That's it a month. Okay, but that seems high for just the three that you pay for. Compared, Compared to cable yes. is what we're doing here, right? Yes. So my husband has things because he watches totally different shows than I do, um, but I have. Probably five or six that I actually pay for. We get the free ones through cellular. Don't really watch them that much. Like Apple TV, I rarely ever watch. So I don't pay for it. I get that for free, too. And I forgot I have Discovery Plus. Oh, yes. That, yes, that yes. is free for me as well from one of these, you know. Cell phone companies. Cell phone things. Yeah. And that's wow. it. Well, I, so it looks like we're we're saving some major bank. Mm -hmm. By cutting the cord. Then I was asking our producers, Ninja and Jake, if they watch traditional TV at all. I think the closest may be Ninja, but it's the older shows that you watch, right? Uh. <laughs> Do what you even watch? know what an older show is? Like The yeah. Office you'll watch, right? No! I wouldn't consider that an older show. No. Oh, now, let me put this in perspective, because Ninja really likes things like um, Leave it to Beaver or Andy Griffith show or something like that. I would like, consider that an older show. That's an older show. Okay. Gilligan's Island, that kind of stuff. Well, The Office yeah. has been off for five, ten years maybe, hasn't it? I think so. I would consider it an older, but not a way back. Okay. White well, if you're it. saying older shows are 1920. Yeah. Yeah. That's her perspective. <laughs> yeah. Something like that.